guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a cranberry eye. I don't know if it's like a smoky eye, some people might call it a smoky eye. It's probably a little bit darker than like an everyday eye, but like I totally wear this any day of the week doing whatever I'd be doing. So I would like wear this to the gym if I had to. Um, so I'm really obsessed with it. I really hope you guys are too. I woke up this morning and was like, I need a cranberry on my face. And I was just thinking about this all day. So I'm very happy that I was able to do this today because I really needed it on there. So I'm very happy with how it looks. So be sure to subscribe. I know you guys all know that YouTube's doing like a weird thing. So I just double check that you're subscribed. Um, and if you want to be subscribed, you can click down there and subscribe. So yeah, I really hope you guys all enjoy this look and let's get into it. So I'm looking down here a lot. It's because I got this like big monitor for Christmas and that's where it is. And it looks so cool, but everything's like backwards. So I meant to just touch it over here, but I touched it over here. Whatever. All right, so I've had this product for a really like long time, but I just haven't ever really used it. Smashbox Photo Finish Oil. Lately, I've been obsessed with the oils. I've been using it in like my entire skincare routine. And since I want to be Jeffree Star so bad, I'm just going to uh, plop that on here. That was stupid of me. It just soaked all in. You can mix this with your foundations too. And I'm just gonna put it right on my skin. Oh my god, wait, do you guys like this? My new tat? Yeah, girls would think. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade Y215. Is it just me or is this like not covering anything up? Maybe I'll have to do like another layer. But I'm gonna go in with the second layer because the first one just did not do a thing. I should probably explain what my tattoo means. It means mind, body, spirit, and then like the circle around it um, means the balance of all three. For concealer today, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I still cannot get my hands on Tarte Shape Tape, I swear that concealer is the most impossible thing to get your hands on. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. Yesterday in Gigi's video, she was saying how if you don't have Tarte Shape Tape and you're a makeup girl, like what are you doing with your life? And I was like... <laughs> And to set the under eyes and like highlight my face a little more because I love being pale, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. Then I go in with MAC Studio Sculpting Powder in the shade Light. And this I put everywhere that the bake is not. I take the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 and the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I take the Banana Shade. And I don't really wipe it away. I just sort of tap it in and mix it with the banana powder. And you see how it just like blends into this and it's nice and highlighted. Girl. And this powder, I get asked about this a lot. This powder is the best, the RCMA powder I'm talking about. It's the best because it does not have flashback. No flashback. So this is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Who remembers MAC? Like, come on, why did MAC ever leave? I just, I still love MAC shadows. So I'm gonna take that color all on a Tarte brush. I don't know, it's like double ended. It's an exact dupe for 217. And I'm not even gonna go in with like a transition shade or anything. I'm just gonna start putting this all over my crease and my eye. When you're working with the dark color on your eye, you want to be careful that you're not going like back and forth like this a lot. Oh my god. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? If you're on your eye working and you have a lot of product on the brush and it's a darker color, if you just go back and forth, back and forth like this, 
um, and you're being kind of vigorous with it, what can I, and you're using a fluffy brush, what can actually happen is you end up flicking the shadow onto this inner part of your nose right here, right there. So instead, when you're working on your lid, you want to pack it on, and you can do you know small little strokes like this, but that just kind of moves the product around in complete honesty. And then when you get up to your crease, take bigger strokes, but just don't lift up from your skin. Just keep it down on your skin. I'm gonna take a 224, this has no product on it, and I'm just buff, 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 buff. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with that 224 again, Modern Renaissance palette. Honestly, if you're ever doing uh, smoky eye cranberry tones, this is like the palette that you need in your life. I'm first gonna take raw sienna. No, burnt orange. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take burnt orange. And I'm just gonna work this in my crease. Remember how I was like, yeah, no transition. Yeah, I kind of regret that. Never stray from a transition. You need your transitions in there. I'm gonna take red ochre and a MAC 239, and with this one, it's gonna pat it, oh, this is what I wanted, yes. I'm gonna pack this all over, and in the inner corner, and bring that up, oh, yes. I'm taking Cypress Ember, with this little number, we're just going to smoke her in the outer corner. And that is why you set before you do your eye makeup or else you'd have that mess to deal with. Um, I'm going to put Swiss chocolate all along my lower lash line. You know, everyone now is going to be like, oh, always be careful because, you know, you don't want to look diseased or anything, diseased, and I'm like, <laughs> then I'm going to take a little bit more of Cypress Umber and smoke out that outer corner quite a bit. It's okay if you have to bring it up a little bit. A black eyeliner, any black eyeliner that you have, this is Marc Jacobs, like, Remarkable Eyeliner or something like that in black gear, black. The lashes today I'm gonna go in with Vegas Night Grand Glamours. These have been, oops. But first we gotta put down some masky. So this is L'Oreal Telescopic and Too Faced Better Than Sex. Like, put cranberry tones on and you will feel hot. This is so good about yourself. My lashes actually, like, don't look horrendous today. You could, this could totally be pulled off, like, a no-lash makeup tutorial, but that's not me. That is not me these days. Mm. Snapchat that boy you've been wanting to Snapchat type of makeup. So I actually didn't end up putting on the Grand Glamours when I did go up to, like, put them on and stuff. With the look of just the mascara, I really liked it, but obviously my lashes are wimpy. Um, but then I like tried on the Grand Glamours, and it just looked so overpowering. I totally lost the makeup behind it. With Ardell Wispies, you guys know me, they're my fave. They just, I think, enhance the look and give it the drama that it needs, but it totally makes it not competing with one another. So I think it looks better than the Grand Glamours. You know, every day I say, I'm going to do a different bronzer day. I'm going to wear something different. And then I open up my bronzer drawer and I'm like, hmm, which one to use? And then I always pick out Hoola. I don't know why. It's just, I do know why. Because it's the best thing ever. I'm just so obsessed with it. So I'm going to take Hoola. Ooh. On a MAC 1, whatever this brush is. 135, 185, 195. It's one of those three. Watch it be none of them. Just going to, ooh. Oh, I love Hula. Like, nothing can do that. Ugh, it's just so good. I'm just gonna no tour real quick. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. Not like that. 
This is where whatever foundation color I wear doesn't matter anymore because I can make it work. I can be pale and then I can go to being tan. Okay, well not tan, but not the ghost either. Oh my God, I love myself today. I just held this up as if it wasn't even a big deal. Like it was an everyday thing for me to use this highlighter. Like you guys have always seen it on this channel. No, this is a newer addition to the family. She was welcomed very wholeheartedly. She gets along very well with everyone else. Um, and this is Princess Cut by Jeffree Star. As you guys know, I don't really have many Jeffree Star products. I just started using his products. I know he's a very controversial, controversial, whatever that word is, brand. I like his highlighter and I like his liquid lips. So this is Princess Cut by Jeffree. And since I've been using this, I've been popping. Like it just looks so good. Best brush ever for inner corner highlights. So I take this, oops, this way. And I'm just going to fling this in your corner. Yes! Like, yes! Do you guys see that? You Like, yes! Nose highlight. I'm really not one for a big nose highlight. Just a little on the end, and I think that's, like, all for my nose. You guys really think I was about to do an all matte eye? No. Blush today is going to be this little number. Where did my blush brush go? This is Tarte Dazzled. It's kind of like a, kind of goes with the eyes. For lips, I'm going to take Stripped by Anastasia. that's all for this little toot. I really hope you guys all like it. If you did, appreciate sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see next. I think I'm going to film a best of 2016 beauty video right now. So yeah, let me know and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you guys so, so, so much. Bye.